cha boom boom ba cha boom cha boom boom ba cha Now listen up all you big cat lovers with the snacks in your face and your peats under the covers It's time to hear a story so sit your butt down because Derek's gonna walk you all around the compound Yeah Watching over the front gate. Just making sure that if anyone shows up. She's like, hello, well, hello, this is Carol, may I help you? That's what she does. She's like the concierge. She sits at like the little lectern area. Hmm. Table for how many? Oh yeah, got clouds going on. We got some thunderstorms probably gonna be happening later this evening. Later this evening, coming from that direction. But not for a bunch of hours. This is the moisture. that is pooling up in front of the front. That's how that works. Hi. Oh, no, no, blinky, blinky, blinky. Oh my gosh. Just, is, it, is it time to do stuff? And it's like, no, it's not. There we go. It's very nice. Springtime. There's green. There's green. The lawn needed to be mowed. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And the tigers are snuffling. Aww. See, it's the first snuffles of the year. That's another thing about spring. It's like, you know, the grass gets green, the trees start budding, and the tigers start snuffling. That's just, yep, how no, that works. Hey. What? 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 <laughs> There's a... Uh, thunderstorms. I think that there was uh, stuff that was able to produce some spinny boys over by Lubbock like earlier this morning. A lot of times you'll have these like areas, just these big regions that'll have like favorable dynamics for some stronger type thunderstorms and then other larger areas of just you know overall uh, generalized convection potential. Etc. Etc. The moment that you say like the T word, the turnurders, the moment you start talking about that, about people that don't live like around here, or they haven't like been in like the Great Plains area, the Turnerder Alley area, they they lose their mind. They freak out. People might be just like, oh, there was, tor there was a tornado in Texas. And then someone might be on Twitter like, I hope CARE's okay. And it's like, you do realize that Texas is like the size, is like a, the size of a decent sized country. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that kitty pants. No, but the area of uh, more spinny, spinniness, spinny stuff, that's like way off to the west. Like way to the west. Hmm. Jamie's over here. He is so nasty. Is he? <laughs> oh. Uh. Kev. Kev, Kev. Where? Jamie says you're gross. So much pee. Yeah. Are you making pee-pee? He is making a lot of pee-pee. Aww. 
Yeah. It's factory. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're making yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know that thing where where it's like you you need to sneeze, but you can't, and like yeah, it was. And Jamie was like. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, Kev, Kev. Oh, so much pee hay. Yeah, a lot of yeah, there's a much hay, but it's luckily we're getting into the you know springtime. It's getting warm, so you don't need so much hay bedding and everything. So you can't pee the bed like you used to. Okay, it's a different season. <gasps> Ren, Ren, Renny Penny. Renny Penny, Melissa says hi. Melissa says hi. I didn't say that the last time. Hold on, Yano. I didn't say that the last time. And there were comments. People saying like, ah, uh, Derek, you forgot to tell Red something. And I'm like, ah, crap. <laughs> hi. <laughs> so, yes. I am aware. Aware. Oh boy. Yano coming in with the hot take. Yano with the scoop. With the opinions. Yano, we need to get you on, get you your own podcast. Hot takes with Yano. Get you on AM radio. Hi. Yano. Yano. Not you. Yano. 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I. See, you move. To get me over here. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I thought that I was just like, oh, you're done mooing now? Oh. Uh, you got something going on with your ears again? Are we going to have to like spray some more earwax gunk in there? Maybe. Or maybe it's the wind. Sometimes it could just be like just the weather and they're just like, ugh. Who knows? Probably not. Both of them. Yeah, itchy. <sighs> yeah, he's smelling it. I know. Gross. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Are you being the cutest? She's being very cute. That ryegrass grows super quick. Are you gonna do any more of that stuff? Any of that roly poly stuff? Because this is pretty cute. It's pretty cool. <laughs> You'd be a lot cooler if you did. Alright. Alright. I think that we've covered this section pretty well. Oh, butt. There's a. There's a bobcat butt. Oh, sorry. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Bobby. 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 Bob. Bobby. Bobby. Hi. Bobby.
Heidi called. She called. That's the phone. So went from one clip to another. Does it matter? It doesn't, because there's other times where it's like I'll just kind of pause the video and then like you know read have it. It just it comes back up. Could have just said. Couldn't have even. Didn't even need to acknowledge it. <laughs> it's not like someone's sitting at home with like a notepad and being just like, all right, what was that pause about? What did what happened there? <laughs> but yeah, no, Heidi called. She's like, where are you? And I'm like, I'm filming. <laughs> I'm <laughs> and she kind of was and she's like oh you didn't even tell me that you were because I was inside the house and I just kind of ducked out to film <laughs> she's like oh you just don't you don't want to hang out with me and I'm like it's not that she's like I see how it is I'm outside working and then you're inside and I was inside here's the thing it's like she was outside work and I'm inside like you know doing the dishes and stuff like that and then as soon as she comes in like I just got I just went outside to film really quick and then she's like, oh, I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> well, when you're ready to come back in and spend time with your wife, I'm like, don't worry, I'm trying to do things here. <laughs> I feel like we've been here before. Hi, <laughs> ah, see another springtime snuffle. Another springtime snuffle. Jamie will tell you that tigers, they only, they still only snuffle between uh, usually mid-March uh, to late October. That's that's like the that's snuffle season. A little known fact. A little known fact. <laughs> <laughs> gotta put that, geez, you gotta put that up on Kara's Instagram. <laughs> Man, look at, look at these bums. They, these vagrants. It's not, you're not even trying. We're, this is, we're trying to get your lives sorted out. Do some real mission work. Get your resumes built. Make some phone calls. Put out some references. Maybe you could try to meet us. Not even halfway. Just meet us a little bit of the way. You know? Like Munch, he's got it. He knows how to he knows how to try to make an impression. But you too? You make it hard. You make it hard. Get a, you got to try to get, just try to get something. I don't know. Open up a classified ad. Something. <laughs> Maybe they'll come around. Try to make something of themselves. Try to, I'm try, trying to make honest tigers out of these cats. Contributing. Hi. Hello. How are you? Your tail's spilling over the side. Oh, the ti it's like someone spilled the tiger on the table. And then the tail part is just like, it's the drippy part of the tiger. Kind of spilling over the surface. He's a big drip. He's a big drip, is what he is. <laughs> Man, look at these. It's like, it's the grass, man. It's the grass. All these tigers are on the grass. And it gets them all like just rolling around, not wanting to do much of anything.
That makes sense. <laughs> All these kitties are on grass. Makes them lazy. <laughs> Back when everything was still great, when it was still crispy and yellow, you just you used to have so much more vigor and promise. You used to try to get out there, help the family. But ever since the grass came in and you got on the grass, you're different. I know you don't want to hear what I'm telling you, but you're different. Baby, you're different. All right. <clears throat> Kelly Belly. Kelly Belly. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about... Because everyone's got their own... Everyone has different things. Different tech cats. They just pick up on for different reasons. Can't quite explain it. She just makes me feel just like... Miss Josh. Miss Kel. She makes me feel happy. They all make me feel happy. I mean, it's not, and I'm not saying that it's like, oh my gosh, you know, like, well, which kid's your favorite? You're all my favorite. <laughs> oh, which is just an absolute lie that parents tell. No, <laughs> but it's, there's like something about, yeah, the old, the old, you kind of lock in. Excuse you, Fred. Fred doesn't want to hear it. I heard what you said. I didn't care for it. I love you, Fred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi, Cal. Are you gonna come over here? Yay! Good girl! Oh, pretty baby. So pretty old my guys. Look at them pretty people. Hi. You make my heart swell. Kale makes my heart swell. Like uh, the... Sylvester Stallone filming Rocky IV when Dolph Lundgren punched him in the chest. Which is a thing that actually happened. You know that? Because <laughs> Dolph Lundgren was uh, actually, he's like a kickboxer, he's like a real world champion kickboxer. And there was, when they were filming uh, Rocky IV, there was, you know, fight scene. Hi. Hi. Hi, sugar pie. Hi, Sass. 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 But yeah, while they were filming that scene, oh. Here, let me just go ahead and just do that. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's probably something silly. Wonderful. Uh, but yeah, I know. Uh, while they're filming the scene, yeah, punched uh, Sly Stallone, Dolph Lundgren, punched him in the chest so hard that like he had to stop filming for a few days and he had to go to the. Like, I guess it like caused his heart, like Sylvester Stallone's heart, like actually to swell. Or like the the chamber, or not the or the yeah the cavity around. It was bad. <laughs> it was like, yeah, Dolph Lundgren almost got kind of close to killing Sylvester Stallone 
while filming Rocky IV. Fun movie fact. <laughs> um, anyway. Well, I got some sleepy kitties. Some springtime snuffles. That's a good thing. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Jorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tigers fed, and we will see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. like and subscribe for more big cat content